again folks, back out in the park, uh, today I've got the new 6 inch coil for the Equinox, I'm going to give it a little bash in the park, see if we can get anything half decent, so catch you in the first hit. Ok my friends, uh, first little hit we've got here with a tiny tiny 6 inch coil for the Equinox. Uh, we've got here a 22. Even my coil that small, I still mess it up. <laughs> That's not it. That's it. What do we have? Oh, there it is. And we have... I think that's a button. Hold on to give it a clean. Unfortunately it's just a little aluminium bottle load I think. Thought it was a ring for a second there but alas no. Ok folks, get another little 22 here. And we have a coin. What do we have? It's on 1945 ships half penny. There we go. Uh, George VI. Okay, we've got a nice sounding 12 here. Just a pull tab. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Seems to be right the way down there. Aha. <coughs> uh -huh. Lump of iron. A lovely lump of iron. Okay folks, this is an 18. I'm quite liking this little coil. It's uh, quite good. It gets right in between all the 
Zlobíš? Ingeš ty. The penny. There we go. Just a normal Queen Victoria penny from. I can't read it. Okay, folks. I had a bit of a problem trying to lock onto this one. Uh, could be an 18, could be a 32. <laughs> There's so much junk in this part that it's hard to decipher between them. So I think there might be more than one signal in here. You know, that was one really big signal. And I think that'd be one of them. A giant square nail. Maybe that was what it is. Yeah, it probably was. A giant square nail. Okay, my friends, this is a 19. <coughs> <clears throat> so what do we have here? We have a oh yes. It's another sixpence. 1944. Well, don't give that wee clean up. There we have it. Nice 1944. Silver sixpence. There's Georgie Podgy in the back. Beautiful. Okay, folks. Next hit is a 20 here. Yes, a nail. Okay, folks. Uh, this is a solid 18. Wasn't deviating one iota, so fingers crossed it's going to be silver. Oh, <laughs> there it is. You just love it when that happens. There's an impression there. Right in there. And there we have it. It's another 1944. That's mental. Two 1944s in the one day. Unbelievable. I'll give it a wee clean up. 
look at that. Crazy. Beautiful. Okay folks, this is a nice crystal clear 20. Shapenny. See if there's anything else. No, just a penny. Okay, this is a blasting 31. Let's see what it is. Probably junk. Every bit of junk you dig out, one less bit of junk you have to sift through. And if it's a big lump iron, it could be masking something good. Oh, that'll be my wife. Sorry about that. That was my wife telling me I had to get some juice for my sons. Lunch tomorrow. See, I have, I, she likes to uh, likes to buy sandwiches and kiddo, and she's actually made them for us. She takes them out and wraps them up in a plastic sandwich bag to make it look as if she's done it. And she's going to kill me whenever she sees this. <laughs> it serves a right for telling porkies. Oh, lovely! Nailed it. Hold on a minute, bear with me. Okay folks, this is a jumpy 20. It's all over the place so but there was a good signal in between all of it. So I hope there's a coin spill. Six inch coin will still miss it. Down, but it's not, it is a skeleton key. Cool. Well, 
I'll have to put it in the electrolysis to actually clean it up right enough, but cool. I'll see if I can get that clean here. Right in a minute. Hey right, folks, thanks for joining me again. Uh, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next hunt. Bye for now.